This is Georgia 551, and apparently there's been major issues with the telephone service throughout the industrial park. And it might even include this building, which is now vacant. You might have seen the eight part series of the radio huts being demolished. Let's take a look. They've got a ton of red cones out. What you can't see, and we don't want to get near, tons of green and blue and red flags. Actually, I don't think there's green, just the blue and the red. I don't know if you can see them from back here. But there happens to be a major issue there. Probably something there. And it apparently goes all the way down the industrial park. This used to be Curtis Strauss, by the way. Free plug for my place of work. Got excavators here. And way over here at MSI. Apparently they started digging way over there. I don't know if you can see the work or not. In fact, let's try and uh, get a peek at what's going on. Yeah, it doesn't look like we'll get a good look. Yeah, they got this pretty blocked off. Oh, I got the hole dug. And that's what's going on here. Being fixed by Verizon. Yeah, that's just the one flaw of underground wires is that when something goes wrong, you gotta dig up everything to get to the problem. Sure. Windstorms are not going to knock down the power lines if they're underground. But this is the big, very costly method of installation. It's part of the price you pay for convenience. And that's what's going on in the industrial park. Well, this appears to be a bigger problem than I thought. Georgia 551 here again. There's a Verizon truck way down there behind the big white building there. I see a worker going into the woods. And barely through the trees, because I don't want to get too close. They're digging a hole still. Let's see if we can get a better view. They're digging a hole. Let's check out the other side. Here's Mineric Automation and Control. And there's a lot of digging going on over there. Let's get a look. What a pain. Need these people just to dig up some phone lines. Or so, that's what we've heard. Looks like they uh, got more than phone lines marked. That's why you call dig safe. Here we are at the other end. 
gonna zoom in. I know it looks like crap that way. All the red flags is our little sign. Wow. And someone smoke is in my face. I'm not gonna be sticking around long. Looks like these guys are digging for gold. Either that or drilling for oil. Nah, I think they're looking for a line. And, wait. That ends today's, or should I say, this segment. Finally, we are on the MSI side of this big industrial park. Well, it's not really too big. And this is where they were digging a hole with a bobcat. So you can see they've filled it in and as we saw in the last part guy walking down an embankment I'm sure you can see the red flags that the phone line goes that way not a hundred percent sure now if it's the entire industrial park but it appears to be that at least where I work there's problems with the phones. Let's see what they left on the other side, near the main road. Finally for today, cannot get too close, since they're still working on this side. And they're drilling for oil over there. <laughs> As you know now, they're just trying to find the lines. Apparently it's Mostly where I work, where the phone lines have problems. And here we have a series of flags. The red ones, I believe, are telephone. That's where they brought in the digger. You see the red flags going all the way to the pole. Blue, I think, is gas. There they are, trying to figure things out. And they're drilling. And there's a cone there. Some sort of uh, inlet. I don't want to get on the site while they're working. So that's the fun going on in our little industrial park for Friday. The 5th of March. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.